Nick with Sweetwater here, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Orange OR30, this sturdy single channel 30 watt all tube class A head right here. As you've just seen and heard, I'm going to be joined on this short sonic journey by my guitar playing pal, the one and only Don Carr. I'm going to show you the OR30's meaner, dirtier side, and then Don will reveal its cleaner charm too, as only he can. And as you've just seen, the OR30 head is available in either orange or black vinyl. Don's playing the orange vinyl version through an orange 2x12 cabinet loaded with a pair of Celestian Vintage 30s. And I'm running the exact same rig, but mine is covered in none more black vinyl. <laughs> As just mentioned, this single channel 30 watt brute is an all tube class A head, and as its label proudly proclaims and shows, it was not only designed in Britain, but also built there. Its tube complement is as follows, three 12AX7s in the preamp, including the phase inverter, a 12AU7 in the series effects loop, a GZ34 rectifier tube, and finally a quartet of EL84s in the power amp. A switch on the OR30's back panel offers you two output power options, 30 watts and 2 watts, and these two are labeled headroom and bedroom respectively. And please don't let this offering's 30 watts of full power fool you into thinking it's a polite, quiet little amp, because I assure you it's not. It can get loud, really freaking loud, and the output transformer reflects that by its sheer size. Yup, as you'd expect, that all-important hunk of metal in the OR30 is a brute, a big, hunking brute. <laughs> Yes, my friend, this amp is definitely louder than your average 30 water. In fact, I took this rig to a jam session with a pretty hard-hitting drummer and I never got above four on the master volume. And even at that less than halfway volume setting, most sound men at a gig would have told me to turn the damn thing down because I was playing too loud. That said, that's exactly what I'm doing here because louder is, well, better <laughs> Also, 
Also, thanks to its GZ34 rectifier tube, the OR30 has a gloriously tactile sag when you drive the sucker hard. Let's take a quick tour of the controls on the front panel, shall we? Going from right to left, we have the following. Each label with orange is now trademark and famous hieroglyphics. First up is the guitar's input with a three-way bright switch right next to it. More about this bad boy in a minute. Then we have the amp's gain control, followed by the three usual tone control suspects, namely bass, middle, and treble. Then we come to not only one, but two master volume controls. The second one, the one with the image of a foot over it, is, wait for it, yep, you got it, foot switchable. A neat feature that allows you to go from loud to stupidly loud with a mere tap of your foot. This is obviously ideal for switching seamlessly between rhythm and lead. The seventh and final control knob, the one with the image of a fist above it, is the presence control. Now, a lot of tube amp presence controls work off the power stage's negative feedback loop and are so only really noticeable at higher volumes. This, however, is not the case with the OR30's presence control. No, sir, it's a cross-line one, so it's effective at any volume and gives the amp a really nice upper mid sizzle, as you've already heard. <laughs> I like it. And talking of sizzle, let's quickly discuss the three-way bright switch as promised earlier. First and foremost, this is the first ever bright switch to appear on an orange amp since the company's birth well over 50 years ago in 1968. That historical fact stated the switch's middle position is off, which is perfect if you happen to use the OR30 as a pedal platform amp. And incidentally, it's an excellent pedal platform amp. When the switch is flicked to the left, it adds a finely tuned treble boost, whereas when it's flicked the other way, namely to the right, it adds a wider, broader treble boost, which to my ears is perfect for classic rock. Let's quickly check out all three bright settings. Here's off. Here's the switch to the left. And finally, here's the switch to the right for the broader, wider treble boost. Sorry, got a bit carried away there because this amp feels great. It really is a lot of fun to play. As you've probably already ascertained, the OR30 has a lot of low end on hand. And it also, by the way, plays very well with overdrive pedals such as the Tube Screamer and the Boss SD1, should you want to tighten things up. Here it is with an SD1 kicked in, and I'm going to switch to an ESP LTD James Hetfield signature snake bite loaded with the MG so you can hear how it behaves with active pickups. <laughs> It also adds muscular gain for days when the control of the same name is cranked to, well, 11. Let's check it out on both rhythm and lead. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Hudson. Anyway, as far as the back panel goes, it's a pretty simple affair. Going from left to right, we have the following. Firstly, three speaker outputs for various cabinet impedance options. Then the send and return jacks for the amp's tube-driven series effects loop. 
Next is the foot switch jack for the second master volume control. And then finally, the headroom slash bedroom output power switch. Headroom being 30 watts and bedroom being the neighbor friendly two watt option. <laughs> Anyway, enough of my yammering and bludgeon rifola. I'm now going to hand it over to Don to show you the politer, cleaner side of the Orange OR30, including some effects loop action. Take it away, Don, my friend. Hey, thanks, Nick. As you can see, I am playing the orange version of this orange amp. I've got it paired with a 212 cabinet that is well-worn, nice and broken in. Uh, borrowed it from Sweetwater Studios. We put a lot of hours on this thing. It's got a pair of uh, Celestian V30s in it. The range of the gain control and headroom in the power section make this an extremely versatile single channel amp. I mean, I'd say the real key to making it work is in the tone controls, specifically the high end, the three position bright switch, very effective presence control, and the treble control in the tone stack gives three different access points to the top end frequencies. This wide range of control over the high end is critical to getting the right sound and response with every gain setting with any guitar or speaker cabinet. It's not just the headroom and range of this amp that make it so versatile, the punch that it has is undeniable. It's not one thing that really makes that happen, but the power section and tone stack voicing are likely the biggest contributors. Anyway, it sounds great just about anywhere you set the controls, and it's almost impossible to get lost in the mix unless you're just not loud enough. This amp is very responsive and all of the controls are interactive. For instance, I find that at higher gain settings, I'm turning down the top end and bass, but all of the EQ controls are sensitive, so little tweaks are all you ever need. And the effects loop is really transparent and doesn't jack with the tone or feel of the amp. I like that once you've crafted your tone, you can simply add effects. I've got a Dunlop Echoplex in the effects loop just for a little bit of ambience. Okay, let's check out a few sounds on the cleaner side of the amp. I've got a PRS Modern Eagle 5, which has got a nice combination of single coil and humbucking sounds, and we can kind of test the range of this amp. <laughs> Nicely done, Don. Thank you. 
And there you have it, my friend, the 30 watt all tube orange OR30 head. It's compact, it's powerful, it's articulate, it cuts through a mix like a hot knife through butter, and its single channel offers a plethora of great clean, dirty, and extremely dirty tones. And most importantly of all, in my humble opinion, the OR30 sounds and feels great, especially when cranked to 11. In short, it's a fun and inspiring amp to play, be it on stage, in the studio, or in the bedroom. As I mentioned earlier, please don't let this head's 30 watt output rating fool you. Trust me, this little sucker can get loud, extremely loud. Yes sir, it definitely punches way above its weight class. Not that I'd expect anything less from those fine folk over the pond at Orange. For more information on this fine 30 watt tube head or any other Orange products, please go to Sweetwater.com or better still, call your oh so friendly Sweetwater sales engineer. That said, I'm out of here. First though, I'm going to switch the OR30 to the 2 watt bedroom mode, crank the master volume to about 3 o'clock and also change guitars too. All via digital magic. <laughs> Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, nicely please, and also subscribe. Click here for more videos like this and go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. Have a wonderful day.